Victoria has one of the oldest Chinatowns in North America, and when the Royal BC Museum's history curator was shopping here, she was intrigued by a sign inside one of the shops. The rest, as they say, is history. Veronica Cooper has the story. Inside this butcher shop in Victoria's Chinatown hangs a sign most of us might not notice, unless you're a curator of human history. I spoke to the shopkeeper and they inherited the business from the, the apprentices of the original owners. This shop is believed to be the oldest continuing business in all of North America's Chinatowns. The person who established it came directly from China in 1889. He established the butcher shop that's called Lai Xingguan. So all the family members actually helped in the shop and then the second generation helped. The shop survived the discriminatory laws against Chinese Canadians and the depression of the 30s. They had a barbecue and during business during the day and then they'd run a night snack business during the night to continue for the family to survive. No matter how old or young, every family member helped. The two daughters that we worked with, Bonnie Marr and Lina Lee, they were primarily responsible in the 1930s and 40s uh, in the family um, division of labor to clean the gizzards and um, pluck the feathers to prepare them, pre prepare them for roasting. Their brothers were responsible for transporting the chickens and ducks from the family farm that was in um, the suburb of Victoria. They have to load the chickens and ducks and then push them, push the wagons through town to the shop on Fiskar Street. Chung was honored when those two sisters, Bonnie Marr and Lena Lee, presented her with these feather pluckers to donate to the museum's history collection. The feather pluckers were passed down three generations at least, if not four, so this is a really nice addition. There you have. A simple donation with a deep significance. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.